Friends and associates of late Nigerian dramatist, musician, and poet, Jimmy Shalanke bid him final farewell in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, with a tribute concert tagged Jimmy Shalanke The Last Dance. The event featured performances from collaborators and protégés, with most of them reprising some of the classics created by the late Sage. Fireworks, music and dance is the order of the day as creatives within the theatre, dance and music sphere converge to celebrate the remarkable life and career of the late Jimmy Sholanke. A man who was referred to as a custodian of art and culture across multiple generations. The evening opens with glowing tributes from associates, creatives and personal friends including footballer Shago Debami and Nobel laureate Wale Shoinka. Uh, for me, it captures the quintessential Jimmy Sholanke. Before his passing in February this year, Sholanke left an indelible mark within the Nigerian creative space, including in television, film, theatre and music over many decades, and his influence came to bear in form of tribute performances. Opening the evening is medical practitioner turned singer Poski, who recorded the 2018 track with Sholanke titled Baba Agba. He performs the track with images of Sholanke and him from the music video being in on the screen behind him. I'm still feeling like I lost a father, and uh, I must say I lost a father, my adopted father, Oluji Misholanke. Uh, I couldn't compare the video then where we did it and now, because there was a line in that video that I said, uh, which means when you go, we're going to miss you. Uh, that was for my father, but now he's Jimmy. So I am relating it to him, and Ojun Romilo, I actually feel very heavy. I've cried so many times, but life goes on. But I'll miss him so much. I'll surely miss Jimmy Sholanke. Soon the pace grows a bit faster and groovier as more musicians, including Abe Thombo, Shegua Defila, join in in reprising some of his old songs. Plus, people are beginning to dance to some of his classics. <laughs> His second son, who was a project manager by training, Ulua Sheun Sholanke, raised the stage for the first time in his life as he reenacts his best impression of his father while performing another of his classics, this time in the folklore genre. <laughs> Like him, he, he was good at a lot of things. He was good at art, he was good at music, he was good at drama, he was good at everything else. And so, at every stage of my life, I realized that there was something about him. I initially, I started with artwork. So later on, I moved and then I started instruments. I didn't even know what to do. And then I started with the drums. I was just doing drums, drums. I was very little at some point. He was on a was on a performance like this and I just walked up to the stage and then I collected the drums from one I was beating nonsense actually but that was a point I was like oh and then growing up the most thing that I actually got my hands on to was writing you know, just composing stuff and just writing and composing stuff but as it is now with this that happened tonight it was this is actually my first time doing something like this. I've never done anything like this before. It's just my first time and whatever it is that came over, I think I'll try and embrace it at some point. 
And besides that, he has already left a lot for us to do that we can't, we can't let go. Sonoria singer Yinka Davis brings back the pop list Ashe, which Jimmy Sholanke performed alongside another artist simply identified as Coyote. Even though the evening is tagged the last dance, it is obvious that Sholanke's works will continue to have its pride of place in the many classics across different music genres. The stage and the dance floor soon transform into the 80s disco as a collection of various musicians take on his Ejeka Joe track, which he recorded alongside the Junkers. <laughs> 